Fifth District Council Member Bill Farmer, welcoming you to another very special edition of Lexplore. This is, I think, our third edition at the new Senior Citizen Center. Sounds great. I'm joined by Christy Stambaugh, who is our director of the center. Is that surely it's more director of aging and disability services? Well, I, I'm glad we're finally giving you a building large enough to go with your title. That's right. Isn't that great? <laughs> Thank you for welcoming us back again. Thank you for having us. Thanks for coming. Well, it's just. It's exciting to watch. I right. mean, you, when you drive by Irish Road, you can see something's going on back here. But now it's just becoming right. more of a focus. That's right. It's so exciting every time the construction site sends us aerial photos from a drone right. or Martin sends us pictures from, or my staff come and wander on the weekend and take pictures. And then really? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, the excitement is just growing by the day. Well, we'll go inside and tour around here in sure. a minute. but. You've got to be getting excited, I'm sure your crew is, mm -hmm. about just getting over here. That's exactly right. There are so many little details, and we don't want to forget any of our people. I mean, we have, I just looked, last yeah. month we yeah. had 500 unique users at the current center on Nicholasville Road, and it's tiny, and it's a green building, and it blends in, and it's nothing as majestic or as beautiful or as telling as this site is for the yes. seniors that we have now and those that are getting you're, older every day. You're exactly right. It has a sense of majesty about it. Oh, yes. And attractiveness that I think will bring more people to it. And I'm glad you're counting That's right. heads. That's exactly right. I think it's right. good to know who's coming and what they're doing right. for that matter. Right. Because the outreach will be totally different. You have the ability to do exponentially more, more things here, Absolutely. more things going on. You know, and we kind of stopped doing outreach because we were so overcrowded. And as we got closer, we started doing more outreach. And we're having sometimes 40 new members a month. On average, about 25 new seniors sign up at our current center every single month. And we don't have room for them. So we cannot wait until the summer of 2016 when we move into this building. And we've had a couple of change orders come through where you've gotten more chairs or more furniture. I mean, it's just That's correct. you're you're filling it in as you go, which I think is good. Not everything all at once, but you know what your needs are and you're trying to fill them. That's right. And you know, I was saying to Harding that we were designing this thing two years ago and so much had changed already in two years. I think we were very um, thoughtful in our process moving right. forward, but for, uh, for instance, needing more tables and chairs. I mean, the that just has thing. been a response to what's happened in the past two years at our current center. I think so. it's, just, it's dramatic, and it will be dramatic. That's exactly right. And I, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited to walk in every time, but it certainly has been nice to meet you in these kind of casual settings. Right. Because it, this is the first time we were to really start on the site. Every time before we had started across the road. That's exactly right. And this has got a code on it. It's not done yet. Right. But we're getting very, very close. That's right. Every single day it takes a different shape. Mm -hmm. And just having some of the exterior done and really all of the windows. I mean, we have very few windows at our current facility and to see these windows and to see what we get to look out on, which is either the reservoir in Nicholasville Road or the park, which is so amazing. A 22 acre park and we're a part of it. You are. And I think the neighborhoods welcome you in that capacity. I think so too. And mm -hmm. I think we'll welcome them as well. Well, let's start. Let's go inside. Okay. It's going to be an exciting tour. We're going to see the cafe first off. All right. That sounds great. We'll be right back. So when you walk in downstairs. Sure. When we walk in, yeah. we're going to see the welcome desk or the reception area kind of on the to right. the right. Yeah. That's correct. And then immediately to the left is a cafe. And it's an indoor outdoor cafe. Right here, right, right That's beneath exactly where we're standing. Right, right yeah. below where we're standing. And there'll be coffee served there. We're not sure of what kind of refreshments yet, yeah. but it's going to be um, with a lot of public outlets for people to charge their phones or charge their devices or just to sit and drink coffee. And, Room to interact. Yeah, absolutely. There's indoor seating. And then right below us out that window is some outdoor seating. And we have some speakers out there so that there'll be music for an outdoor cafe kind of environment. 
don't. Well, it's going does, to be nice. Have you named all these things yet, or just they may get names? They may get up. names if you you know, some benefactors come. And Below the the art studios are two classrooms, and we've already in Grant, um, gotten into an agreement with Ollie, with which is the University yeah. of Kentucky Osher Lifelong Learning, and they're going to provide educational classes five days a week for us. And so that's going to bring in people who might not come to the senior center cool. because they may not say, oh, it may not be for me, but I like the education part. Then once they're here, they're going to see the cafe, they're going to see the upstairs, the studio, we're in the card room, they're going to see the billiards, they're going to say, That's huh, there's billiards. maybe I'm going to come. That's yeah. exactly right. There's three billiards tables right behind us. Additionally, Almost. downstairs is the multi-purpose room, and the multi-purpose room has a designated track, kind of. It's seating or walking path designated by the flooring, okay. so that people really wanted to be able to walk indoors when the weather's not so good. So in the big room. So in the big room around the perimeter, we think it's going to be 19 laps to equal a mile. But we'll have designated walking time. Use some clickers then too. Uh, absolutely. People will lose track. I yes, know, we I would. will. I would. Table tennis will go on downstairs. Dances. We have the platform, so we'll have the opportunity to have huge lectures, huge entertainment. Sure. And maybe with uh, the park behind it all. That's exactly right, and it's so beautiful. Out that door, though, is an outdoor patio for the back. There's a barbecue. There's raised flower beds. There's seating out there as well, with a clear view again to that pickleball court that I love so much. We're going to have to post the rules somewhere. Okay. Absolutely, we will put them or out there. Or have some sort of a presentation match. Right. So That's people a good can idea. see how it's played. Maybe it could be the council members against the seniors. Well, I think you're good at your job. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be fun. There's a library downstairs as well, and it's going to have a focal point um, fireplace. Really? Yeah. And a place for people to sit. And there'll be chairs there with tablet arms. So if they bring their devices and they want to enjoy their tablets or rest their arms and read the newspapers, it's going to be available to them in the library. It's kind of a quiet area, kind of away from the fray and all That's the okay other activities. You need different speeds. Absolutely. That's so right. generally, what will your operating hours be? In the beginning, we're going to maintain what we do now, which is 9 to 5. Okay. I mean, 8 to 5. And then as, the, as we get more comfortable and sure. as our participants get more comfortable, we'll offer a couple evening classes a week and maybe a weekend class. And um, we really haven't decided if we're going to be five days a week open till 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. We're just going to wait and see how our we'll clients, see. what they need. We'll and see how popular it is. That's exactly right. All right. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. I know it's a little, it's a little overwhelming. At I times, mean, it absolutely is. To walk through here, it has such presence now, where before it was open or they were pouring the concrete or something, and now it's very real. That's right. Every time I come, our guy on the site it says, now Christy, it's going to look smaller. Now this time, it might look bigger. Now this time, oh, it's really? going to look smaller. And this time up here, it looks really big, and downstairs, it looks a little smaller. It looks me. very enclosed now. Now what, what will this area be? This is the card area. We're standing in the card area, okay. and directly next to us is the art studios. We have two separate art studios. Right. One is going to be messy with ceramics and pottery wheels. The other is going to have sewing machines. That's this one. Yeah, because there's a, there's a venting and stuff That's in correct. There. Yeah. There are two kilns. And then the clean art is going to be like needlecraft and drawing and doodling and um, adult coloring, sewing, photography, things like that. And then beyond that are the two conference rooms. That's exactly right. And they probably have the best view. We were there, I if agree. you remember, yeah. when they were pouring the cement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we were looking down into the park, and we were looking down into the multi-purpose room. Well, I think it, it gives the best view of, of the, the park, park literally. And the pickleball courts, the two pickleball courts that are out there. Pickleball courts, more on that later. Uh, <laughs> Then on the far corner here, the mm -hmm. front corner, is your fitness area. That's exactly right. And it's looking out into the parking lot, which yeah. is beautiful. And you can actually see the reservoir. And so, McDonald's, yeah. And McDonald's. <laughs> that might Work be hard. the motivation for all the cardio, <laughs> because all the cardio equipment will be facing the front of the building. That would be very nice. Yeah, and we're going to have personal trainers here that are going to help everybody get oriented with the machinery so that they're nice and safe and they understand how that it works. And then they'll be signed off so that they can... Um, um, access it even when the personal trainer is not available. Well, I guess that's, your programming opportunities must quadruple. That's exactly I mean, right. We're going from about eight programs a day to about 24 different activities every day. 
And you're set staff-wise for that? I think so, yes. We um, had a very generous budget going yeah, into yeah, the year. Yeah. I'm not to say that we might not need a mid-year ask, just because we're starting the full fiscal year you get at the new year. At the new building. Are you going to go and wait party at the old place? We really are. Are you? Uh huh. You need to. There's a lot of great memories there. There is. And we're going to have um, video montages of all the activities. And, you know, Ernestine, who was at our groundbreaking, oh, yes. still yes. is coming to the center. And so she opened the first center and she's going to open the next center with us. Well, I mean, that's just that's the beauty of it. You have a, a sustaining clientele, but a growing one. And people will have such a so many more reasons to come here. Not that that's bad that's right. there. This right. is so much better here. That's exactly right. And one of the things I think that everybody's been conscious of is we don't want to lose what we have right. and the um, familiarity with one another and the mm -hmm. comfort we have with our clients and they have with us. And so we're going to have a soft opening and we're going to be here for our people and then the big blowout and the big grand opening when we've worked out all the kinks. Well, this big room back here would be a great place to do something like that. Absolutely. Ab okay. And the outside, because we've never really had the park. We've never really had the no. out of doors to pull into. And uh, to me, the juxtaposition of those dugouts right outside the back door here. Right. And people here to enjoy those kids and those games. I think it's going to be a, just something that wasn't part of the calculus, but it'd be so wonderful out here. Exactly. Because exactly. interaction will take place multi-generational. That's right. Any day. That's right. Every day. And we're so close to schools, the elementary school right there and Henry Clay High School right up sure. the street, so that we'll be able to pull them in for yeah. some intergenerational planned programming. And then the neighborhood idler is getting its uh, community garden, garden back mm -hmm. up there. And I'm sure that some of our people will engage with them at well, that time. Well, I think time. so too, because I think there's a lot of opportunity just for people to share. That's exactly on right. On what they've done. Right. All right. Okay. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I've been joined by Harding Dow, who is our uh, an associate with EOP. What are you to this project, though? I've been the project manager from, from day one, yeah. uh, so I've, I've shepherded this project uh, from, from the very early stages of design. We mm -hmm. started with a, a community design charrette and yes. uh, have then seen it through design and construction. And so It's nice to have you all with me today. Absolutely. I consider you and Lexington's finest and Lexington's future, so <laughs> well, thank well, you. I appreciate that. Well, it's very nice. <laughs> so one of the things about this is it's more than just a center, and, and as Christy said, it has a sense of majesty about it, and is that what design can do for a building? Absolutely. Uh, what we knew going into this project was it needed to do two things. It needed to be a, a good neighbor. Yes. Um, it needed to be visible from, from Richmond Road. And, um, and to, to, to draw attention. Yes. It yes. ne needed to be something eye-catching and iconic, but, but it also needed to be very welcoming once you got up to the... Uh, up to the front doors, uh, and also it needed to function well with the, re the rest of Idle Hour Park as, as we develop that. All right, let's cover just a couple of elements here. Yeah. The stonework, mm -hmm. which is real stonework. You, it is. It's in Indiana limestone. You've surprised me with that. I, I expected <laughs> something less than that, but this is, that's a lot of work. It took them a long time we've to had, do We've that. had great partners all along. Uh, the, the stonework turned out really great. Uh, we've also got uh, some insulated metal panels, um, some uh, wood grain finishes on the outside. All right, so that's where the blue is now? Where the blue is now. The blue is our, our waterproofing membrane that wraps the entire building. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, that, that big blue square there uh, will, will be a, a, a panel that's not real wood, but has a wood finish on it. Uh, so still gives you that warmth, but a little bit better on the maintenance side. So it will wear well? In in, in, we in it, it, it weather, should, so to speak? It, exactly, yeah. It should look brand new all the time. So that gives you, certainly, with the limestone, something very local. With the wood, I think, right. the feel is something very local. Absolutely. And then there's some ribbing, the, the st steel trussing? What would you call that? Um, well, we've got what's holding our insulation on are a series of Z-girts okay. that, that, that help us get that, that thick insulated barrier uh, so that you know, the building is going to be LEED certified. So that's we, awesome. needed, we needed to go above and beyond with okay. regard to our, our thermal protection. Mm -hmm. So that's what's holding our insulation on. Um, and then we do have a couple of other areas where we've got some, some ribbed metal panel um, that, around some of the, uh, the more background parts of the building. But we really wanted this face to really catch the eye. Well, no, I think it does that. And I think that, you know, you and your firm do great work, and this is just an example of it. So, well, we appreciate uh, it. We, we, we love being good community partners, and, and really, this kind of project is 
is so special to us because it can make such an, an impact on the community that it serves. Oh, I agree. And that's what we love. You all have done a great job. You partner with great, great people on this. And I don't know, I've just been pleased to be involved from the beginning and to meet with you here now. It's been great. But I just can't tell you thank you enough. Thank you, Councilman. My pleasure. Good My pleasure. We always enjoy telling good stories on Lexplore. If you have a thought about one, please let me know. I'm Bill Farmer. Thank you. Thank you.